and today I got a parcel in the mail and Shea Bear bought me a birthday present. Thank you, Shea Bear. Um, yes, and we're going to look at it and see how it works. Stay tuned. I got a package in the mail today and Shea Bear bought this for me. I already knew that he was going to buy it. So anyways, here we go. This is a Vac Life handheld vacuum cleaner. Now I wanted it for the car, but I also want it for my tent. So the inside of the tent so I can vacuum it out a little bit and get the dust, the sand and the dirt and all that out of there. So I'm going to try it in the car and we're going to see how well it works. So, I'm going to open it up. i got to sit down somewhere. Maybe we'll sit in a car or something like that. Um, my mother's got the living room cut. You know, she's watching TV. And so, in the living room. So, I figured I'd come out here. Since it's going to be for the car and for the tent, I thought I'd bring it in here. So, we're going to open this up. And I'm going to put this on the tripod. So, it'll make it a little bit easier. So, I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So, I got you on the tripod so we can see. It's called the Vac Life. Okay? We're going to open it up. Now, I've already opened it up because I had to charge it. But I haven't played with it. This is what it says on the inside. So, you can read it. And you can go to their Facebook thing with the little thingy. The code thing. So, okay. So, what you get... You get these two pieces, they're separate, and you put them together, and that's your little brush for vacuuming. And this probably hooks on to over here, somewhere on this thing. This is the second, um, what do they call these? Filter. Yes. And uh, they have one in it already. And there's the filter. This is the way it looks. Pretty, pretty different looking. And, um, yeah, and then probably this little thing right here, you can attach this onto here, like that, and use it like that for brushing probably your seats or trying to get in little places. Okay, and then you get a charger, which I've, I had to charge it. I let it charge up, so I had its full charge. And you get a little book, and of course it says, you know, how to put it together, and all your stuff. There you, you can look. It's typical manual, you know, with the pictures and that. So it's nothing really. It shows you how to clean the filter, and um, how to take the filter out. Oh, it does give you a little brush in here. Where is it? Uh, a little tiny brown black brush and this is to help clean the filter as you can see on here so anyways um, it also something interesting <laughs> that I found in here and this is what they give you also but I checked and everything these have been on YouTube <laughs> so they're already on there so I don't know what the deal about this is, but I'm going to do my video. It, it's, if you can't see, it says, All inserts are designed by our company. Please help protect our intellectual property. Don't post them online without our permission. What the heck? I own it. I bought it. It's mine. So, and I'm going to do a review on it so others, if they want to buy it, they can buy it. If they don't, they don't have to. You know? I, 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 I don't get that. And it makes me a little weary at the same time about that. But anyways, now this is the suction. I'm going to turn it on so you can hear it. Oh, yeah, cool. That's a little light. That's neat. So if it's dark, you can see it. 
That'll be nice in the tent because sometimes it's dark in there, even in the daytime a little bit, especially if you're under shade in that. And this is coarse, you're going to take it apart like that and then put it back on. Okay, line it up. Yeah, maybe. Let me get this on here a little bit better. Yeah, it's not all the way on. Should I be able to help me? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> so, yeah. But thank you. I don't have the strength. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, we're going to vacuum the car a little bit so you can see how, how well it works. And we'll try it. So, I will be right back. As you, as you can see, there's sand and dirt and and that over here. And a lot of it came from the beach when we were away. I haven't cleaned the car out yet because I kind of was waiting for this so I could do a demonstration. Alright, so we're going to see how much and how well it does. Here we go. They may not, it might be too big for it. And there's a lot in here, you know. So. so there's not like a separate place for it to stay back. So it could end up clogging this thing right here. I would think. So, I'm not too impressed. I mean, am I going to keep it? I don't know. Uh, I'll let Shea Bear think what he thinks about it. I really wanted it just for cleaning messes up, you know, vacuuming the car out a little bit. You know, starts looking bad, just touch it up. You know, yeah. I mean, this is pretty bad in here, so this is a lot. But my mom and dad had a black and decker, and they used to use it, and it was pretty good. They liked their black and decker. Too, too impressed. So let's take 
brush. I'm going to empty this out. And I'm going to put the brush on it so we could do maybe something around the stereo or something like that. See? Just stay tuned. <laughs> okay, guys. I'm back. So, I put that extension thing on here. I did take the dirt out a little bit. I think there's still some in there from the filter. So, um, I'm going to just do the sea here. As you can see, there's sand in my seat because we were at the beach. So, I'm going to see how well it does. <laughs> piece off. Whoops, sorry. Moved y'all. Let me see here. I'm going to take this piece off and we'll just leave it like this. See if I can get down in that little corner there. Let's see. Oops, got it on backwards. Alright. And we'll put the light on so we can see. It is starting to get a little dark out. Alright, let's see how this works. trying to see how heavy you can go with it, you know. But it kind it up a little bit. I mean, if you just needed to be touched up, especially after you did a really good vacuum, and then you went somewhere, you just need to take it, and it'll be good for little touch-ups. For heavy-duty stuff, I don't. I really don't think it's Will it be okay for the tent? Well, I don't know. We'll have to we'll get Shea Bear to put the tent up one day, and um, we need to wash it anyways. It's got, and it's, there's dirt and sand inside of it, so um, I want to try it out in that and see if it's going to work. If it works okay for the tent, I'll be happy with it, and, you know, it'll be fine for touch-ups, you know. Anyways, so... Um... Yeah, I think I think it would be fine for touch-ups, like I said. So, why they put that little thing in there and they don't want you filming, I don't know. But, you know, these are already on YouTube. I looked. So, you know, I'm not the only one who's doing this. So, um, yeah, I think this here, this little brush, it's okay. It doesn't get enough suction through it though. I mean it helps but it's not powerful and um, I don't think it would take much to get something jammed in it. 
And this little piece right here, I think this is plastic, totally plastic. I think that, um, okay that guys, I lost my battery somehow. <laughs> that always happens to me. I don't know why. Anyways, um, what I was saying about this piece here, this plastic piece, yes, it's not real hard plastic. I mean, it's hard, but it's not going to take much for it to crack or break. And once it does, you're not going to be able to use this. So, my thing on the whole thing here, um, that I probably, between one and two, I'd rate it a one. Um, I don't think it's got enough suction. I think that plastic piece is crap, and it's going to break in no time. Um, and the little flappy thing, eventually, it's going to get stuck open, or it's going to, um, you know, if you bring it down, and you're trying to go down, and you're vacuuming, and you still got all that sand in there, it's going to come back out. So, I, I think eventually uh, that's what will happen. Um, so, I haven't watched anybody else's um, reviews on it. So, I did this one. This is how I feel about it. It's my personal opinion. I am not doing this for them. Um, it's because I wanted it. And I needed one. And I wanted a good one. Am I disappointed? A little bit. But, it also, it's sucking. I mean, you know. I mean, it's not going to be a full vacuum cleaner. It's going to just do small jobs. That's what it's meant for. And, um, you know, I can't expect it to do heavy work if it's, you know. I mean, my whole side here is full of sand. So it's from the beach and that when we were gone. So um, if I had a little bit there, it did the seat fine. I the little brush did. I mean, I don't feel the suction at the end of the brush, but... It, it took the sand off my seat, as you've seen. Um, yeah, so, I mean, would I buy it again? Uh, I don't know. I have mixed feelings on it. I'm going to do a review on the tent when we get the tent up, and we'll use it then, and we'll see how good it will work for the inside of the tent. And then I'll give you my full opinion about it. By then, I have used it in the car probably a few times and stuff. Um, so we'll see, um, how well it will do there. So, anyways, that's it for now, y'all. Y'all have a great week. Um, yes, we're going to go to, um, Tuesday's my birthday. We're going to go out to Crystal River. They have a monkey island that actually has monkeys on it. You cannot boat to it. And there's a restaurant there we're going to go eat at. It's a pizza joint. Um, so you can sit outside and you can watch the monkeys while you're eating. So we're going to do that Tuesday in the afternoon. I'm going to take my mom. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to get uh, videotapes on that, that one. And Shaber is going to do one too probably. So we'll, we'll have something up for that. So and uh, we got some other stuff coming. So just stay with us and yeah. I want to go to St. Pete, and we were trying to go there, we can't get, what we wanted to do is rent a home, because then she has a private room for herself, and usually there's two bathrooms, and even if there's one, that's fine, we share one here, but at least she has her own bedroom. If we get a motel room, we have to get two rooms that, you know, and, you know, it's hard to find rooms um, that are you know, separate bedrooms, so she could have some privacy, and we have our privacy. So, we were thinking of a house, well, every one that we liked, some of them had pools, and they were nice, and I was like, oh yeah, we'll be able to go swimming just like she wants to, and, um, they're all full, they're booked, they're booked until next year, so... Um, I guess everybody has the same idea we do. So, as soon as we can find one, um, we're going to book and go down there and, and do that. So, I want my mother to, to see the sun coming down. It's so beautiful there. Just awesome. So, um, I would like her to see that. She's been to St. Pete, she said, but they never stayed to watch the sun come down. So, that would be cool. 
anyways, that's it for now, y'all. I talk too much. Uh, so, Monkey says she's out for now, and y'all have a great day.